At the top of the page you'll see three buttons. The first button says Video Tutorial. The second button says Examples. The third button says Screencast-O-Matic. Click on Screencast-O-Matic to download free software to record your screen. Under these buttons you'll see an input box and a submit button labeled New Script. Type in the name of your screencast. I recommend using the question that you intend to answer. Many people type questions into Google Search and YouTube, so we want your screencast to appear at the top of the search results with an exact match when they do. After you've given your script a title, click on the edit icon for each section and add a few sentences. Click on the examples bar to open an accordion section and see examples. Click on the check grammar button to check your text for spelling and grammar errors. Click check target structures to get a count of the types of words and expressions the system expects you to use. Click save to close the pop-up box and save your text to the database. At the bottom of each section of your screencast, click Generate MP3. To get the system, to use Speech Synthesis to generate an MP3 of the text you have added. After you have filled in all of the sections and generated MP3s, click Check. The system will run all of your text through the grammar checker at once to make sure you have eliminated all of your errors. Click Statistics to get the system to count your words and estimate your speaking time by adding the lengths of all your MP3s you have generated together. Click Publish to publish a copy of your screencast script on the Virtual Writing Tutor website. You can now record yourself reading your script to import it into your screencasting software like Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia Studio. Click iframe to generate the code to show a window with your published screencast script on your blog or another website. An iframe, or an inline frame, is an HTML document embedded inside another HTML document on a website. The iframe HTML element is often used to insert content from another source. When you embed a YouTube video on a blog, you'll use an iframe. Click HTML to generate the HTML code you can use to display your screencast script with MP3s and video on your blog or Moodle course. I promised to show you the screencast script creator, and I did. If you found this screencast useful, remember to click subscribe and the bell to make sure you get notified of my next screencast. Thanks for watching.